44 gang. It's your boy Hemi Life 44. Back with another banging video, man. If y'all new to this channel, make sure y'all like the video, man. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I post, man. You know, every time I post. And also make sure y'all go get the app box. Make sure y'all go get the app box, man. So y'all um can you know right now I'm sitting here, I'm parked. I'm actually watching Netflix right now. You can watch Netflix, Amazon. You can watch uh, Amazon Prime, that is. You can watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, whatever. Pretty much you turn your, your TV, um, your, your radio into a smart TV, man. Pretty Like anything you can do on your TV or watch on your TV, you can do right here in your car. It works while you're driving. It works, it works whenever. No issues, no none of that. Although I do recommend you don't use it while you're driving because that is very dangerous. But up to you and it's also illegal it's up to you i just gotta put that out there for y'all you know what i mean but um make sure y'all get that the link is in my description just go to the description of this video hit that link it takes you right to the website hemi life 44 is the promo code that's the only way you can get um the money off you know what i mean is if you use hemi life 44 for the promo code but uh also the pedal box is right up under that you know y'all know what the pedal box is but um we finna get straight to what this video is about, man. Um, I know I've been holding y'all on this video, man. Um, the last time I posted the video of, I believe it was something about when the police accused me of being a drug dealer or something like that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take y'all by the by this spot first. I'm gonna take y'all by this spot so y'all can see uh, where I lived at and all that. Uh, anybody that watched that video then, you know what I mean? Once I show you where I lived at and all that, then you you can kind of put a vision with it. You know what I mean? But uh, right now I'm actually leaving um, a store, and it is extremely hot out here. So my camera keep falling because the deal that's holding it is so hot it just keep you know what I'm saying going down like that. So uh, yeah, man. So I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. Right now I'm just gonna give y'all a little rundown. This is the video where I told y'all this was one of the big videos. Like, this was probably one of the scariest moments of my life, man. I told y'all I would bring y'all that video. So y'all seem to like the story times, um, the videos I posted, the story time or whatever. Y'all seem to like that. And it seemed like story times, seemed like story time videos be doing good. People be wanting to hear that type of stuff. So this is another story time video for y'all, man. But uh, so I'm actually going to take y'all on a route. That's why I'm not going to start the video or the story, right? That's why I'm not going to start the story right now. Because I'm gonna actually tell y'all the story while I'm taking y'all down the route where all this happened at. You know what I mean? So once we get to our first stop, man, I will turn this camera back on. Yes, sir. So 44 gang, we almost... Uh, did I miss my exit? No, I didn't. I should have took the exit, though. We almost at the, uh, the spot I want to show y'all. Um, now, I will tell y'all this, all this was, man, this was almost, this was close to 20 years ago, man. This was a long time ago. Um, give or take a couple years in between the two, maybe, maybe, maybe a year, maybe a year in between the two incidents. This, the, the other incident came first, the one where the, the, um, well, the one I'm telling y'all about now, the one I'm telling y'all about now is the one that came first. Then the uh, the 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 drug dealing incident that came second because yeah that, that came second but uh I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I still remember this back way man how to get there but I just don't I really don't understand why this police officer at these apartments had had an issue with me man I, I don't know what it, I don't know I I believe it was just the cars I was driving. I had a Crown Vic, which y'all heard about that. I had a Crown Vic, uh, paint job, TV, 24s, all that. Then I had another car on some 22-inch spinners at the same time. And I think he was just stereotyping. Like, he see a he see a young black dude or whatever, and he think I'm doing something I ain't got no business doing. You know what I'm saying? And he just started watching me, which ended up, we didn't know at the time. Y'all go watch that story, man. If y'all ain't seen it. Go watch that, man. But it's a, it, it was crazy. And this one is crazy, too. Y'all got to make sure y'all listen to this one all the way to the end so y'all can hear how I got out of this situation. Like, this was 
this was a this was crazy how I got out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? But man, this, I, I haven't been this way in, in years. I haven't been this way since I lived over here, man. So like 20 years, like I say, close to 20 years, not 20, but close to 20 years since I since I lived over here. But uh, here we go, right here. I'm gonna show y'all. Wow, that's crazy. So these are the apartments right here. I'm gonna show y'all what my garage was. So these are the apartments right here, right? My apartment was that apartment up top with the white door. The one, the one with the white door, the upstairs to the left, to the right. That was my apartment, you know what I mean? I used to park, you know, I had to park over here and I let, had to park over here. But my garage, when you come over here, my garage was over here, you know what I'm saying? I had to walk over here every time because, you know, I only I, I only had one garage. I only had one garage. So uh, I couldn't park both cars in the garage. And that's one reason why I got rid of one of the cars. This was my garage right here, 30, 33A. So I had to walk over here and I let. But uh, yeah, these are the apartments I stayed in. These were my first apartments when I moved out the house. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna show y'all where the security guard, the security slash police. This is the office right here. This is the office. So he used to pretty much sit right here and watch all my movement. Or he used to walk around to the back or something like that. And he watched all my movement, man. He literally watched every car that came to my house. Wrote, man, y'all gotta go watch this stuff. I'm not gonna tell y'all. Y'all gotta, for those that seen it, y'all know. My partner, my best friend stayed over here. Uh, he stayed, I ain't, I ain't finna show y'all that. He stayed in the same apartment at this building right here. Uh, he, he stayed right there. Y'all seen him in my videos. Y'all gonna see him some more in my videos too. But uh, yeah, so man, that, that dude used to watch everything I did, bro. Called the police on me, had, had the Soto police watching out for me, which goes back to one time I thought about it all this later. It goes back to one time where I was I was minding my business. It was like one in the morning. I was in my Cran Vic. I was out and uh the police in the Soto pulled me over. And he asked to search my car and I let and I told him, nah, like nah, you can't search my car. And you could see the look on his face, like how mad he was, but he knew it wasn't nothing he can do. But he had no reason to pull me over either. You know what I mean? But once I found that out, then that made sense on why he pulled me over, why other uh, DeSoto police was pulling me over. You know what I mean? So it all, it all started making sense. But uh, right now I'm finna head to, to the spot where I can start telling y'all this story at. And I'm gonna start right where it all started at. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start right where it all started. And this is the story how I could have spent, man, if between 30, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty much safe to say could have spent all my life in prison. You know what I'm saying? This is the story when I could have spent the story on how I almost spent all my life in my 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 whole life in prison, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as soon as we uh get to that location, I will tell you it's like a good. It's not too far from here, about a good five minutes. But uh, as soon as we pull up, man, I'm gonna start that story right there. Yes. Sir. So here we go. Um. Man, okay, I'm riding down this street. Y'all see that school to the left? If y'all don't know, y'all remember the movie Carter High? That's Carter High School right there. That's Carter High School. For anybody that's not from Dallas, they they redid that school. It actually looks a lot better now. But that's that's Carter High School right there. Let me show y'all a little better. That's Carter High. That's the school that the movie Carter High was about. So I'm riding down this street. In, I, I was in a Crown Vic on 24s. It was all white at this time, though. So I get right here, right? I get right here. I see a police over here to the left. Let me hold the camera. I see a police over here to the left turning on this street. By the time I get right here, the police turn on the street and look right at me. Look right at me. I'm in the turning lane. I always look at police. I always do. But so... I'm, I got in this turning lane right here. The police was right there turning. The police looked right at me. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't think nothing of it. 
I ain't think nothing of it at all. I'm just going about my business, going about my, you know what I'm saying, my day. I had no, I, I have no idea on why I was even over here. Uh, I can't remember. But for people that don't know, I am from, I, I used to live over here. I'm not gonna say I'm from over here because I used to, uh, I stayed over here till I was about like, uh, I wanna say eight years old. I stayed on, um, for anybody that's familiar with Woodtown, I stayed on Kernwood, um, which I, I would show y'all the house I stayed in, but I, I'll do that another time. But I stayed on, um, I stayed on Kernwood, and I stayed in, uh, I believe they were called Canterbury. Stayed in Canterbury. Was Canterbury? The apartment's right across from Leanne apartment. You know what I'm saying? If you, people know Leanne apartment. If you don't know no other apartment, you know Leanne apartment. But uh, I stayed right here. Actually, Kernwood is coming up right here to the right. I stay right down that street, right there. This is current wood, right here. I stay right down that street. You can, I can actually see the house I stayed in from right here, but I, I go through there and show y'all that a whole nother day right now. So I went all the way down this street. Now this street, this is a long street, you know what I mean, to where I was going. I was going all the way to where, pretty much where this street kind of ended. at. Pretty much going all the way down to, uh, to Leadbetter, man. And I was just, I was just cruising. I'm just, I'm just riding. Man, I hope y'all can't hear my AC, but exactly what I didn't want to happen just happened. My camera got too hot and shut off, so I had to pull over so I didn't pass nothing. But uh, we back rolling. Hopefully it don't do it no time soon right now. <laughs> when I was, I was like right here, right here by the Camp Wisdom, like somewhere right here I passed another cop. You know what I'm saying? That was like a, 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 a police type building right there right here where you go. So it's, it was always a lot of cops there. I passed another cop, didn't think nothing of it, man. Um, and I, you know, I went all the way through my, um, rest in peace of my partner. Uh, well, I got two partners named Red that, that's, that's uh, gone. But one of my partners, y'all see these cops. One of my partners died right here at this light, man. He died right here at this light. Uh, but yeah, but I got I got a good minute to go, you know what I'm saying. So when I get closer to that, I'm gonna um, finish the story. I want to show y'all this though. This hill right here, bro. We used to ask my, uh, we used to ask my, you know what I'm saying. Every, yeah, you know, as kids, y'all go down hills, man. You tell your parents go fast, put your hands up, bro. <laughs> as a kid, that hill felt a lot more uh, scarier than what it really is, man. They used to go fast down the hill and all that. You know what I'm saying? We back there feeling it in our stomach. It was crazy, man. It's all it just bring back memories from back then. Okay, so boom, here we go. So I went this way, going to live better. I was going to live better. So you gotta go this way. You get off that road. And when you come down here, as y'all can see, man, you come down this hill right here, right? This is a one way. Y'all see that says one way only. This is a one way. A one way. So I was right here where this SUV is. It's a car behind me, so I ain't gonna be able to sit there and tell y'all. I was right here where the SUV is, man. A police came down and literally stopped right there where that Jeep is right now. He seen my car right here, he stopped. And then, so I sat here. I sat here for a little minute. I'm like, man, this the third, fourth police I done seen. And I'm like, but why? I'm like, man, why is he stopping though? So he stopped then, once I started, I started to inch up a little bit and he he started going like five, like five miles an hour or something like that. You know what I mean? Like he, he going real, he going real slow where I knew he was finna try to pull me over. But like I said, I was in a Crown Vic, man, on big rims. I had stickers on it saying 24 inches of chrome. You know what I'm saying? Like 20, you know how people used to put 24 on the side, 24 inches. So I, it, it wasn't nothing new to me. It wasn't nothing new to police getting behind me, running my plates. So I just, you know what I'm saying? By, the, by this time, now I done got in front of him, right? So now he's just behind me. Like, he just behind me right now, just, I don't know what he's doing. He probably ran my plates, I don't know. But he was behind me, and I'm, and I'm gonna keep this camera going because I'm gonna show y'all how long he was behind me without doing anything, bro. And it all makes sense once I get to the end of this story, which I'm almost there, because the end is the real main part. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's that's Big T Bazaar, man. That's where, uh, uh, you know, when uh, I think that's where Boosie got shot at, you know what I'm saying, when he was down here. That's Big T, though. 
But um, anyway, so we going all the way right here, bro. The police still behind me. Let me get over it. Well, none of this stuff right here, though. All this stuff is new. Like, all of this stuff is new right here. All of this stuff right here is new. Um, with none of that there. This light wasn't here. Or none of that. QT wasn't there. None of that. It was just, you know what I'm saying? It's just straight. Straight, straight away, you know what I'm saying, to the freeway. So I'm I'm getting right here. The police behind me, right? I'm getting on the freeway. So when I, it's a car behind me, so I can't show y'all what I did. I can tell you, though. So I got all the way over to the left lane, like I was going to get on the freeway. And he got over. So I jumped back over, and instead of then getting, not get, instead of getting on the freeway, I stayed in this lane, and he followed me, bro, instead of, because he was going to get on the freeway. I was in the right lane. Only time you come from the right lane to the left lane right there is if you finna get on the freeway. He didn't get on the freeway, bro. So I stayed on the service road. I'm coming down, coming down here on the service road. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna keep the camera going so y'all can get a good picture of what's going on. He behind me still. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't ran no, I ain't, I ain't turned no lights on. He haven't done none of that. You know what I mean? So I'm coming up to this light right here, Lord Land. And I hope this light is red. I really hope I gotta stop at this light so I can show y'all. Either way, I'ma get over so I can stop and then uh, show y'all. But I'm coming up to this light. Now y'all see it's a bridge right here at this light. It, it crosses over the freeway. So while I'm sitting at this light, a police come from that side of the service road and he parked right here in the middle of this bridge. Like right there where that green sign is, right there. He parked right there on the bridge. Man, listen, listen, now, all of this was right here. None of this stuff is new. All of this stuff, all of this stuff was, was here. You feel me? All of this was here. He was parked right over there by that sign on that bridge. I seen him. That's when I knew, I said, man, that dude waiting on me. I said, bro, the worst thing I'm thinking is they finna take me to jail for a warrant. Cause most likely I probably had a warrant at that time. Ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? They, they probably finna take me to jail for a warrant or something. That's, that's what I was thinking, you know what I mean? Because anytime you got two cops, then that's what it is. Now I'm thinking the dude done ran my plate and all that, and now they finna take me to jail or whatever. Man, listen, soon as this light changed, bro, when I tell you, I'm gonna I'm I'm pull, I'm gonna pull right here. I got pulled over right here, right here. I got pulled over right here. Oh, look, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn the car around. Hold on, let me turn the car around. I'm gonna park right here and finish the story. That green charger right there. Ooh, I see you. And bro, this is gonna sound crazy. But I ain't making none, I can't make this up, bro. I can't make this up. That police was sitting at that light. I was at that light, right? The light changed, man. Listen to me. By the time I got to the middle of that intersection right there, by the time I hit the middle of that intersection right there, it was, I can't remember how many it was. I want to say 15 police cars. Bro, it was like they came from out the ground. Like, the only one I seen was the one behind me and the one on this bridge. But it turned out, bro, they was, they was over, they was like, bro, they came from, they came from over here, back, they came from back there across the street at that uh, Exxon over there. They came from over here. Bro, they was at this, they was at this funeral home back here. I didn't see none of that, probably because I was so focused on them two. But man, listen, it was about 15, 15 police cars. I can't make it up, bro. 15 police cars. I immediately pulled over. I blocked this whole, how I turned it to this gas station. I blocked that whole deal right there. I blocked it, I stopped right there. As soon as I seen it, I stopped immediately. I'm thinking like, man, like, man, hell no, nah, what? I'm like, whoa. So by the time I stopped my car, bro, they already out the car. They already out the car. I mean, it's like, man, 30, 30 po it's like, I wanna say at least 25, cause a lot of them police had two people in the car with them. You know what I'm saying? So it was like 30, 30 something police officers, bro. If it's any police officer that follow me and y'all was police officers back then, y'all let me know if y'all know anything about that, if y'all was part of that. Because if y'all was, then yes, that was me, man. Right here at Laurel Land, man. Y'all pulled me over. Next thing I know, bro, it was about 30-something guns on me, bro. 
Like, <laughs> I'm looking at my rear view mirror like, ah, nah, bro. Like, bro, nah, this can't be what this can't be happening right now. Like, what I do? They got the, the, the deal. I don't know if they was talking through their car or they had their little thing and was telling me, get out the car, put your hands on the steering wheel. They told me to put my hands on the steering wheel first. And then they told me, uh, open the door and get out the car. So I told them, well, I didn't tell them, but like I said, they was all in front of my car, bro. Guns on me. They were behind my car, guns on me, side of my car, over here. Bro, it was crazy. They was telling me, uh, get out the car, get out the car. Bruh, they couldn't hear me. I had my windows up. But I think the ones in front of me, they may have knew what I was saying, but they weren't going to take no chance on walking up to my car. So they let me sit there for a while because I wasn't finna get out the car. Like, I ain't moving my hand, bro. Like, no, I'm not moving my hands, bro. I had glass house, no tent, no none of this at this time. I said, I'm not, I'm not moving my hands, bro. Like, it's too many, it's too many guns on me right now. I'm not, nah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I may have been shaking my head or something, I don't know. But I know I had both hands on the steering wheel. Now, eventually they start creeping up because like I said, I had glass house, so they seen my hand was on the wheel. They start creeping up, they open the door, and they snatch me out the car. They snatch me out the car, put me in handcuffs, took me to the back of the car, and they asked me, they said, uh, what are you doing on this side of town? I'm like, man, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I ain't had no destination that day, bro. I don't think, I think I was, that was just one of them days I ain't had nothing to do. What I used to do, man, if I ain't had nothing to do, like I said, I always had nice cars. I used to jump in my car and just go ride, bro. Just, just, just go ride have my bang on, y'all know I like music, like my system, I just used to ride, have my bang on, so I think this is what I was doing, so I told them, like, man, I said, I, I'm, I'm just riding, like, I was just riding, they were like, uh, um, what was you doing uh, by Carter High School, I said, uh, bro, I, I just passed through, I was coming from over here, and I just passed through, and he was like, oh, okay, so uh, he was like, "Did you did you stop did you did you stop anywhere by the school?" I was like, "Nah, I ain't made no stops." He was like, "Did you get out the car at any time?" I said, "No, I ain't made no stops until right now." I said, "One of them cops seen me. He, he he them cops been following me for the for a minute, so I know they seen I ain't made no stops." And he was like, "Okay, well just just stand which just just hang right here." And they had me in handcuffs, had me on the trunk, bro, leaning on the trunk, talking to me, searching me, doing all this. And um, after that, he come to me, and bro, what's crazy is how I got out of this, bro. It's, this had to be God. Um, he come back and tell me, um, he said, uh, well, I thought you didn't, I thought you said you didn't get out your car. I said, man, I ain't never got out my car. It was raining today. I said, I ain't get out my car. I ain't, I ain't got out no car. I ain't never stop my car and get out of nothing. He was like, well, why is, your, why is it wet in your back seat? I'm like, man, I got a, a roof leak, which at that time, I had a, my seal on my, my uh, man, that seal on the back window at the top had a little leak in it. And it, it hardly ever rained. It wasn't raining like that. And I didn't really find out till like maybe a few days before that or the day, the last day that it rained before that is when I found out it was leaking. You know what I mean? And um, so so I was like, man, I've been seeing that car. That's a third day straight I've seen that car. Um, but um, so I'm like, man, I got a uh my, my roof is leaking up there. So he checked it and he seen it was leaking. Bro, at this time he was like, Well, I'm asking you all this because it was a shooting over here some somewhere in that area, and your car fit the, the suspect car. The same, same rims, same color, the same stickers on the side. I'm like, ah, oh, man. I knew I was done then. I'm like, ah, oh, bro, cause I, I know like you, like you finna take, like this, that sound like something I'm finna have to beat in court because of the simple fact you just described the suspect car to the T of my car. So I'm like, ah, oh, bro, my heart start beating. Heart start, I'm talking about, mm, mm. I'm like, man, come on, bro. I'm like, bro, I ain't, I'm, now I'm like, bro, I ain't stopped my car. I ain't got out no car. I ain't done, I ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. And he was, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you just hang right here. And it was like the way he was saying it, like, bro, you, you done. That's the way it's saying Man, when they came back, y'all not going to believe this, but if you believe in God, you will. When they came back and the, that same police officer got me, got me 
started walking me to the back of the police car, bro. A cow came in, said we found, we got the suspect. Same car, bro. Same car. He had, I, I didn't see the car, but I don't, he had stickers on the side. And I, from what I, from what I was told, the car, but the rims was different. The, the police had, they, they just seen it with big rims, stickers on the side, a white Crown Vic. That's, that's, that, that's what they seen in the area. So any police is going to be like, there you go right there. Cause you don't know, nobody is going to say, well, what kind of rims was it? Oh, they was some, oh, oh they was some, uh, shunties. They was some, yeah, they was, you know what I'm saying? That, you ain't gonna see the, you ain't, when something going down like that, you ain't finna notice that much of the car. You ain't gonna be able to tell the rims. You're gonna be like, he got some big rims on it. He got stickers. You're gonna notice stuff like that. So, bro, had, <laughs> had the same type car, bro. Whoever, whoever was involved had the same type car and all that, man. And they, I ain't gonna lie, they, uh, that cop apologized. Like, man, I'm sorry, wasted your time miscommunication and then he told me, he ended up telling me he was like man we had the same it just so happened we found a suspect they had the same car just like yours big rims uh they got stickers on the side he never said what size rims and he never said what what the sticker said but he just pretty much described it to the teeth of my car or what they saw and they just acted when they pulled me over they just acted as if i was really the suspect so bro that that day right there had to be the most scariest time of my life, bro. Now, I done been in other situations that was pretty, uh, not terrifying, but a little, a little scary moments. You know what I mean? I done been in other situations like that, obviously, because I was young. I was, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't never just been heavy in those streets, but I was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just never been, like, deep in them like that, but I was in them. So I done had situations that, then you know, that's like, ah, man, I need to chill, bro. Or, I need to do this different. I need to do that different or whatever. But, but um, yeah, so, bro, that was a crazy moment, bro. That was crazy. And a lot of, you know what's crazy? What's even crazier? A lot of people don't even know this story. Like, my family know, but some of y'all that know me that should know this story don't even know this story, bro. Y'all don't even know this story. But him, I think I was with, I think I was with him and wife at the time. I think I think me and her was together. We was dating, maybe. I don't think we was married. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was so long ago. But yeah, man, that was the story, man. That was. Look at this truck getting over on me. Look, look. It's insane, bro. Come on, man. Pay attention. But uh, that was a crazy moment, bro. That was crazy. I thought I was I was going to. And then if they had never found nobody, if they had never found nobody, bro, I would have took the uh, the rap for it, like. That, that would have been, you know what I'm saying? That would have been my choice. I would have had to take because if you don't find nobody else and you saying my car fit the description, it's raining that day, my back seat wet, even though I'm telling you I had a leak in my, bro, I was done for. If I had to hit that, if I had to hit that county, I was done for, boy. If I had to went to uh, trial on that, <laughs> done for. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know, bro. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm taking no. I don't think I'm, I'm taking no plea for nothing. I don't know. It it it'd have to be that type of situation. Like, I don't know. I guess it have to be looking that bad. My lawyer have to tell me, bro. It's looking that bad. Like, I need. I know you didn't do this, but you need to take this. I don't know, bro. I just. I don't know. But I ain't. I ain't in that situation. So I thank God for that. He he really. He really spurred me right there. But man, that that was crazy. That was really. I ain't gonna lie. That was really scary at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, especially all them guns pointed at you. And then at, at that time, bro, it, it wasn't like how it was, how it is now. Now it was people getting killed by cops and stuff like that, but it wasn't as bad as it was now. But even though with that, like I said, I've had a lot of problems with police, bro, and it's all been because uh, of my. It, it all had some. It all had something to do with my car, like yeah, whether I was getting pulled over. I had a police say I was running from, I, he said I ran from him. Like, bro, I done been in so many police situations. Police left me on the side of the road for hours, tore my car completely apart, bro, and left me, state troopers, tore my car completely apart, thought I was transporting drugs. Bro, <laughs> it's just crazy. I done been in a lot of a lot of situations with the law. But um, that one, that one by far uh, tops them all because of the situation. Like I, all them guns, bro, that was scary. 
you know what I'm saying? That was, I ain't gonna lie, that was serious. Man. I, Cause it caught me off guard, bro. I didn't know, I didn't expect that. I expected two cops to pull me over. Not 25 or 30. It was a lot of them. It was almost like the whole DPD was on me, bro. Like, oh, oh no. Couldn't call my mama at that age. You know, I'm around by 19. You know, I'm trying to have mama. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to mama. Hey, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, that's the first time I'm thinking about it. Like, hey, I gotta call somebody. Like, I know I ain't done, I ain't done nothing to, to, to deserve all these laws on me. Like, this ain't right. But what's crazy is it's people in jail because of stuff like that, because of uh, you know what I'm saying, mistaken identity. Like, it's people in jail for that, like stuff that they didn't do. So just gotta stay prayed up, be careful, man. But uh yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to share that with y'all because I told y'all I was gonna bring y'all that. And uh, there it is, man. But um, that's gonna be a wrap for this video, man. Make sure y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, if you don't know, if this is the first video you catching, man, I do car reviews, man. I got uh, I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm a big Mopar person. You know what I'm saying? I was a big uh, part of the Mopar movement. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a I'm a Mopar guy, but. I'm a car review guy too, you understand me? So if you wanna, for a certain car you wanna see, man, y'all let me know, I get my hands on it, I'll review it for y'all, let y'all know the do's and don'ts, the is and ain'ts, you understand me, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, man, that's gonna be a wrap. Like the video, man, subscribe to the channel, go to himandlife44.com, get your merch, I ain't got no clothes on today, I just kept it simple, you know what I'm saying? These shorts was actually supposed to be, I just like the color, these shorts was actually supposed to be, yes, such shorts, I just ain't got them, I ain't got them done yet because I hadn't, really uh figured out how i want to do them so i just throw them on i gotta go buy some more but uh that's gonna be a wrap man i appreciate y'all watching make sure y'all like share comment subscribe browse we're going up all 2022 man y'all know how i end out my videos in the meantime in between time to the next video i'll let your boy man yes sir